Well, good morning, LFC friends and family. We are at week number two for the midweek encouragement from God's Word. And I'm going to be looking at the Psalms this morning. So if you want to open your Bible or uh, click on your Bible app to Psalm chapter 91. Uh, if you have a Bible, um, actually I was always taught to look right in the center. So go right in the center of your Bible and you'll be pretty close. Uh, I'm in Jeremiah, so I'll have to flip back a little bit here uh, to go to Psalm 91. But I wanted to provide a little bit of an overview of the book of Psalms uh, this morning as we kind of get started. And uh, I'd encourage you to use the Psalms as, a, as your daily devotions during this time. There's 150 of them and they were written over a thousand year period. And so these five books that were compiled into one book and uh, so and what we have today in God's Word. So uh, the, the five books that were kind of compiled from this were uh, book one to four is, is actually Psalm one to 41. That's book number one. Book number two is, is Psalm 42 to 72. Book number three is Psalm 73 to 89. Book number four is Psalm 90 to 106. And book number five is Psalm 107 to 150. And it's interesting, at, at the end of each one of those sections, you, you can actually see that there is a doxology written. For example, in uh, Psalm uh, chapter 41, uh, I'll read that doxology. It's the last verse there uh, in that section. And I can get to that. It says this, Psalm 41, verse 13. It says, Praise be to the Lord the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. And you can see the same thing, actually, in the other sections. They have different doxologies to finish that particular book in that section. So what we have is one, uh, one Psalms uh, in our Bibles, and so I just wanted to provide a little bit of history there. And uh, it's interesting. There's lots of different things. One of the things I love about the book of Psalms is how real they are in terms of real-life situations and people's emotions. It's actually considered uh, lyric poetry, and lyric poetry is really an expression of deep feeling. So one of the things you find in the Psalms is lots of deep emotion being expressed by the authors. Uh, the Psalmist David wrote about half of the Psalms, and um, then there's other various authors, and you can read that actually in the beginning of each chapter. There's usually there, there's some sort of superscript that might provide some historical background or what we know about the psalm or the author. Take a look at that before you read the psalm. It'll give you a little bit of the context. The, these, uh, these psalms are meant to be written or read in the original context of what was going on in that situation. So as best we can do that with God's Word, we have to handle that carefully and, and look at God's Word and say, what, what, is, what was he saying to the author or to the recipient at that point? What is he saying to us in God's Word and find encouragement, find promises, from God's Word and really uh, strength from God's Word. So as we look at this morning at the Psalms, that, that's our goal is to, is to see that there's a deep range of emotions uh, in, in the book of Psalms as you read them. You find people that are joyous about what's going on uh, in their life. They're praising God for what's happening. We find people that are confused and they don't know what's happening. They're saying, why God? What, what's going on here? And so we find that emotion in the, in the book of Psalms. We find people that, that might be, they might be um, overwhelmed uh, they might be in despair. They might be worried about something. Uh, and we find in the book of Psalms that they just, they, the psalmists share their heart. And that is so important right now in, in our culture and just what we're dealing with right now is to be open and honest about what's going on in our lives with one another and with the Lord. And so our prayer is that as you, as you look at the Psalms, um, that you would be encouraged um, to really share what's on your heart that you would um, look to the Lord uh, for strength and, uh, and guidance. He is our rock. He is our rock. It's our unshakable rock that we can turn to and that we can stand on uh, and that we can find um, a footing for uh, the most difficult situations. So, so as we look at God's Word uh, um, and look in Psalms, we also wanted to make a note that, that Psalms is actually the most quoted book in the New Testament. So, so out of all the Old Testament books, um, the authors in the New Testament quoted from Psalms the most. We find Jesus quoting from the book of Psalms and other uh, New Testament authors. So we can see that there was lots to be learned in the Old Testament from the book of Psalms. There's lots for us today to be uh, learning from the book of Psalms as, as New Testament authors quoted from it as well. And so as we look at God's word, one of the things I wanted to encourage you with was how can we apply God's word? How can we apply the book of Psalms to our life? Um, what are some things that we learn about God from, from the book of Psalms? 
And what are some maybe some, some themes that we can find in the book of Psalms? So I'm just going to share a few of those with some examples. Um, we can find and learn more about the character of God in Psalms like Psalm 25 or Psalm 63. Uh, we can find out more about the kingdom of God in Psalm 2 or Psalm 99 or Psalm 110. We can find out more about the Messiah of God in Psalm 2 or Psalm 22, Psalm 45, Psalm 72. We can find out about the worship of God in Psalm 5, in Psalm 9, Psalm 122. And we can find out many, many of the Psalms have the experiences of man. And this is what I was alluding to earlier, is that, that the real life experiences of people that were in difficult situations and that they were crying out to God for help and they were looking for answers and they were looking to the Lord uh, from, from a genuine desire to, to learn what, what's going on and what, what can I learn about God from this? What can I learn about myself? And, and how can I apply the truth of God to the situation I'm in? And so we find that a lot in, uh, in, in God's Word and specifically in the book of Psalms. And this morning as we finish, um, I wanted to just provide some ways that you can apply the Psalms to your life. Uh, one, you can use it as a devotional. So each day you can take a day and you can read the book of Psalms. And you can um, ask God to guide you in that, obviously, as you start and, and to lead you into truth. Um, but read through those psalms daily um, and, and use those as an encouragement. Also, you can memorize a psalm. There's some uh, shorter psalms to memorize. I probably would not start with Psalm 119. That might be a little bit uh, challenging to uh, get that memorized. But, but you can, there's quite a few of them out there that you can, that you can memorize. And uh, you can hide that word, God's word, in your heart. Uh, which is so important, uh, which scripture calls us to do. You can, also, uh, you can also sing the Psalms, as Pastor Glenn was talking about, uh, the idea of using songs. In fact, psalm is a Greek word that means the song sung to a stringed instrument. So these are meant to be sung. Uh, so there's many songs that were, that were made based on the Psalms, uh, Christian uh, worship songs that were built upon the Psalms and the truth in God's word found in the Psalms. So you can sing some psalms, but also you can pray the psalms. And this is what I'm going to close with uh, today. And, and as I was talking to uh, someone from LFC, they had, they had said, I was asking them how they were doing, and they said, you know, I, I, we're doing well. We've been looking at God's Word. We've been praying through Psalm 91. And I just thought, well, that's... So I, I turned to Psalm 91 and took a look at it, and I said, well, that's powerful. That's a powerful psalm. Um, based on the truth of God. And so I'm going to close by reading that uh, this, this morning. And uh, hope, I hope this encourages you um, to, uh, to look at the Psalms, to read through them. And if you are encouraged by any of the Psalms, if you're on Facebook, I'd love for you to just share below what Psalm has really encouraged you. Um, and, and also just even if you'd like to email us and let us know, we'd love to hear um, what God has been teaching you through the Psalms. So Psalm 91, we're going to read that this morning. So you can turn in your Bible there. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers. And under his wings you will find refuge. His, his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, if you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. 
our hope and prayer is that if that you're able to be encouraged through God's word, he is our hope, he is our fortress, and we, if we put our trust in him, we'll not be shaken. So I pray that you're encouraged through reading God's word today and that you encouraged, you're encouraged by looking at the Psalms.